If you are looking for Ultimate Team Coins, I have the place for you. Head on over to EasyMuttCoin.com where you can purchase coins for as little as $45 a mil. I did not stutter. Link is in the description. Use code GS for 5% off. What up, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 21 video. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. So today, we are going to make an upgrade that I am the absolute most happiest about since we've been doing the budget squadron so unfortunately i'm recording this at 6 35 p.m i did not finish my solo battles it's unfortunate i finished the first five games and i would need to do another six there's just not enough time for me to uh do so because you know i'm gonna be <laughs> doing my videos this morning um and we didn't finish solo battles we're gonna miss out on 100k on monday which is a little later on today um, because we had a squads tournament, which we were labbing and doing a lot of practicing for us. A lot of time was spent, um, playing squads and trying stuff out to prepare for this tournament, which we unfortunately lost in the second round. But, um, with that being said, we got a bunch of games in and you see, we have 141 trophies. Now, when we go to our month dedication and we take a look at our player four multi series four multiplayer, we are at 126 wins. So, um, we just passed 125 wins, which is 121 trophies. Um, we won a Super Bowl, I think, yesterday. So we have that in our binder. That's uh, about another 200 some odd K, which we're going to go on ahead and uh, liquidate. <coughs> Excuse me. Right now from winning a Super Bowl and a bunch of squad games. And 15K from the daily yesterday. That was good. <laughs> 248K added to the bank. And we also have 200 trophies. That's what you get for a Legend Super Bowl. Puts us at 341. Now, we are going to go on ahead and take that. And we are going to uh, take our... Um, we're going to take our red zone packs. That's 25k per 85 trophies, which we'll gladly go on ahead and take. I think we got like another 100k coming. So, um, so I thought about what addition we could go on ahead and make. Now there are certain things where, again, we've gotten to the point where there really are no more cheap, small little upgrades. We've gotten everyone pretty solid, pretty pretty solid. So now. The upgrades are going to all be fairly expensive. There's no more, you know, little cheap upgrades that we can go on ahead and get. You know, the guys we are upgrading from are already pretty good. So now we're at like, you know, that tier where the the players above them. Oh my lord, we're gonna we're gonna have one trophy left over. The players above them are all gonna be like really, really, really expensive. So we gotta pick and choose which expensive upgrade we're gonna go on ahead and do, right? Because we can't go on ahead you know, uh, 600K no longer builds a team no more. We're at a point where 600K is going to be about two players now, you know? So we got to pick and choose. We got to be smart with our coins and really add value to the team when we go on ahead and do these upgrades. And we will have gameplay uh, later on today with uh, the new upgrade. So I thought about what we should be able to do to make the team better and if you guys have been keeping up with the series, you guys have known that I've been saying a lot about um, having a little bit of a slow running back. Now, Saquon Barkley, who's good, fully maxed out because um, I have him powered up. He's missing one speed max if I went ahead and maxed out Sprinter and he would add 95 speed, which is okay, but we, we want a little bit more speed there. That's really, really, really what we want to look for. Uh, Barkley's good. I've enjoyed having him. But, again, the speed that he has just, I've already, you know, hit the open field and got tracked from behind. And he gets frustrated. So, we want to get a little faster there. Now, obviously, I can't go on ahead and afford uh, Alvin Kamara, power him all the way up because he's 500K for his 95. And then he got a team of the week upgrade. And it's going to take so much training. And, like, I, I can't do that. I don't have the the coins <laughs> to go ahead and do that. But we have to pick, you know, smart. And I also want to pick players I really haven't used before. So, like, going on ahead and getting Kamara, I already have him on my other team. I already know he's good. You know, I'd like to try and, you know, play with guys that, you know, I'm, I haven't been able to use before and, you know, give them a go and, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> have fun with those guys. So, 
I'm very excited about this addition right here, and the addition is going to be Sean Alexander at running back. Now, this right here is uh, an addition that I'm definitely excited about. Um, he was going for 380 yesterday, and now he's up to 350. So that right there looks good. We're going to go on ahead and scoop up this guy for 350. And let me make sure we didn't just uh, the next card was a lot more expensive. So I just wanted to make sure uh, hopefully we got him for around his average price. I didn't want to look into it, then go back and he sold. And then I, the next one would be 30, 40 K more. Cause for me, 30 K is, you know, very valuable. So we're going to go to Sean Alexander right now. Definitely should have looked into it before I purchased them, but series redux average price is 350. So I got him right around where his average price is. So, uh, his average price is 351k. We paid 353, so we got him for you know what he goes for. So, um, what I'm excited about the Sean Alexander is that you guys know that the limited variation of them is the fully powered up version. So, if you went ahead and got Sean Alexander's power up and you powered him all the way up, and then you got the final legend card where you implement his 96 and turn it into a 97. That's this right here, already done for you. I don't need training. I don't need to go on ahead and power him up from scratch. That's it. This is the fully powered up variation of Sean Alexander. So I don't need to go on ahead and uh, look more into that. So that's done. So um, we're going to go ahead and power him up. Now, he is a power back. Now, he is someone I would probably try out Brawler just to see how he does and, you know, see if uh, I notice the difference in acceleration if I'm getting caught from behind too much. But anyways, let's take a look at the uh, attributes here. 95 speed. 95 now. I could get 95 speed out of Saquon Barkley. Again, if I had 40 out of 40 sprinter. But, you know, we don't. So we're going from 94 speed. And Sean Alexander is going to have 96 speed for us. Because we are able to get tier 2 of sprinter. And that right there allows us to go on ahead and add plus... 2 Excel and plus 1 speed. So he's going to get 96 speed, 98 Excel. So he's definitely faster than Saquon Barkley. And what's very good about this guy, which I think makes this guy look absolutely phenomenal, is that he has stock 97 broken tackle. 97 break tackle is a lot. A lot. Stock. So that's phenomenal. You know, that means I don't need tier 4, tier 5 of power run in order to get you know, his broken tackle all the way up, like, it's stock 97, like, that's really, really, really good, that's definitely insane, so, um, huge upgrade right here for the running back position, 100%, so, then I thought about, okay, so what do we do with Saquon Barkley, do we keep him as our spellback, is he gonna be our number two guy, and, um, we took a look, and we thought about it, and I went on Mudhead, and I really took a look to see, if it's worth him being the number two running back, because remember, I do not have, um, I do not have his full card. So I powered him up. You know, I used my 91, 92, no, my 90, yeah, my 90, because he's a 92 overall. I used my 91, 92 overall power up pass on him and pretty much just got him for free. So then it's like, okay, I'm obviously not getting any coins back for powering him down. So do I keep him or is there another way? We can implement that 91, 92 overall power pass elsewhere. And I feel like we came up with a pretty good plan to we can where we can utilize that power pass to, you know, make us a better team as an offense. And um, the game plan was after, you know, really thinking about it, because having him as a backup running back is not bad at all. You know, uh, I can go on ahead and have him. You know, he would get a few carries a game, and, uh, you know, he's definitely a very good running back. But, again, it's like, okay, it's either keep him as a backup or find out if there's a 91-92 pass that would be more valuable for us over him getting one to two carries a game. And we definitely found something more valuable over him getting one to two carries a game, and that is Stefan Diggs. So, Stefan Diggs has a 91-92 overall Team of the Week limited card. And um, which is very expensive, but he also has a, a redo um, of that series. And he has a um, he has a 92 overall redux and that goes for 200K. It's expensive, which is why I never powered him up. He's expensive. But 
If we power down Saquon Barkley, I'm able to use that power pass, get his 92 overall for free, and then continue powering him all the way up. Now, that's important because not only is he going to go on ahead and get um, plus one speed from powering up, he now is eligible for playmaker, and playmaker is big because my weakness in my offense is definitely zone, and I like to utilize playmaker, you know, quite a bit because I can try and find where the soft spot of the zone is, playmaker back that way, and try and take advantage of, you know, hopefully an open side of the field. So um, I've oh my lord, Sean Alexander, ninety eight. We got our first ninety eight overall, guys. Let's go. So ninety six speed for Sean Alexander. 97 excel now mind you we run balanced offense because i don't have enough to uh this benefits the team more than me going you know because i don't have enough for me to go 50 out of 50 go deep and still be able to go 50 out of 50 power run which ideally is the best situation but you need a lot and i mean a lot of 90 97s in order to accomplish that to get 250 out of 50 done so since it makes no sense for me to just um fully make all my passing better by going go deep or play fake and not helping out the running game or me worrying about the running game going zone run or power run and not getting any attributes added to my run block pass block you know route running stuff like that balanced offense pretty much just gives plus one to everything everything now i'm not going to get plus four broken tackle how i could out of uh power run i'm not going to get plus four uh, throw power how I will out of go deep. I'm not going to get plus four run block how I would out of play fake, but plus one everything is better than, you know, helping the entire team out instead of just, you know, one portion of the offense. So he does have 98 break tackle, uh, 90 agility, 97 excel, 96 speed, uh, 95 carry. So he looks phenomenal. And this will be my first time utilizing Sean Alexander. So I'm definitely excited about that. And again, he is my first. 98 overall if i'm not mistaken right take a look and oh yeah he is our first, we got our first 98 overall let's go i'm definitely excited about that that's dope we came a long way boys we've come a long way <coughs> so now we're going to take saquon barkley we're going to power him down we're going to get our power up pass back and then we're going to go on ahead and put that on stefan diggs and power him all the way up we're probably going to have to purchase some training but it is something we are willing to do. Okay, I'm probably going to need more training <laughs> to uh, to power digs all the way up. Because training is, you know, from scratch to a 97. Even though he has a 92 in there, I'm probably still going to need quite a bit amount of training. So, okay, so we have our power up pass back. Let's go ahead and see if his, his uh, power up is going for anything. 3K, we'll, we'll take 2.8 for it. If he's able to sell. Okay, so we're going to go 2.8 here. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we're going to go on ahead and look into purchasing our Stefan Diggs. Now, after that, I knew for sure I wanted to upgrade the running back at some point. Now, I can't even think of the O-line is about it. I, I can't really think of like what's unnecessary thing i knew for sure i needed another run i needed a little bit more speed at running back that 100 percent. i knew for sure at some point that was you know my next upgrade it's like okay when we get there 100 percent. i need to go on ahead and get a little bit of a faster running back um to hopefully turn these instead of 25 yard runs that barkley was giving me into house calls so now it's like now that we got that out the way it's like okay what do we do now <laughs> What do we upgrade now? Okay, so let's just take a look at Stefan Diggs. We definitely got lucky pulling his team of the year uh, NAT variation because that was one of the uh, one of the cards that I definitely wanted to have. <coughs> Excuse me. So you take a look, and his 92 is actually going for more than his 96. His 92 average price is 200K. But it probably skyrocketed due to the fact of, you know, him getting a 96 now. So, yeah, like, look how expensive it is to power up this 92 overall. And you need this in order to continue the power up. So, glad that, you know, this all worked out. So, we're able to go on ahead 
And now fully power up Diggs. Again, that gives him plus one speed. And it allows me to put Playmaker on him. So he just became so much more valuable offensively for us. So we're going to go to newest here. We're going to go ahead and see how much training it's going to cost first off. <coughs> 9K training. Okay, we have definitely almost double that. So we're going ahead and power him up, and then we're good. Like, I'm excited. <laughs> first 98 overall, and we got this. We had we saved 25K here, which is good. Okay. Keep going and rolling, 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 rolling. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We got you. Don't worry, Mr. 325K redo. We got you, baby boy, for the free. Let's go. And then we already have his team of the year variation, which we're going to go ahead and add that to the upgrade. And then first thing I do, get the card art nice and golden. So now we are going to, I believe we have a decent amount of bills, right? If I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. All right, we'll go balanced offense. We now get times four on that. So maybe we'll get closer to 50 out of 50. Um, we'll put one sprinter on him because we are 23. Okay. And now I know for sure we want playmaker on him for sure. Now I got to take a look at abilities and see exactly what it is we can do to make sure everything fits cope aesthetically and make sure we have the training and make sure we have the right abilities we want on the field. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at that. Let's put... Stephen Diggs, I'm curious to see if he goes up in overall with a whole bunch of uh, balanced offense, plus one everything. He does not. Okay, but he is a 97. So, okay. So, right now, our abilities is we have two edge threats. Well, two edge protectors, excuse me. We have one identifier. We have six on Mahomes with Gunslinger and Escape Artist. And that's all we have. And one tight end apprentice. So, I know for sure. Okay, let's go on ahead and get rid of identifier because i'm thinking do we go we might go route tech slot and playmaker on digs which is quite a bit but i feel like it's definitely necessary because being able to put him on any route is you know definitely helpful and then route tech is just you know really good for you know if they call man and we can go on ahead and Utilize his route tech to hopefully create some separation during routes. Um, hmm. This is a very important decision. Okay, first of all, what are we for balance though? We need eight more. Eight more. I can get that by getting 288 left tackles, centers, right guards, and okay, what do we need? Plus one carry, catch, throw power. Pass block. Because 50 only gives me plus two awareness and stamina. Like, that's not, you know, that's not the end of the world. We really just need three more. Three more at the minimum, and then we're able to go on ahead and, you know, get that plus one throw power catching, stuff like that. Oh, I got, I did the, what you call it here? Okay, I didn't realize that. I had no idea. We did the, um on this account, we got the free burrow. We did the rookie premiere. Okay, my bad. Had no idea. Welcome to the team, Sunshine. Let me, let me, uh, yeah, you just been upgraded to the roster, baby boy. And you get a sprinter too. Well, we don't really need, I might be able to get 40 out of 40 sprinter. Like, possibly could. But, okay, so now we are, now we just need five more. Okay, do we have any gold fullbacks in the binder just chilling? Um, we don't. We got a whole bunch of tight ends, but. Well, with that being said, we can go on ahead and get ourselves a go tight end. And that is definitely an upgrade. I've stated before that we want to get. Okay, that that's for sure our next upgrade. I want to go on ahead and get a really, really, really good tight end, which is unfortunate because that 100K from solo battles could have went towards a Darren Waller. Waller would have been perfect because he's got some really good speed and we could have been able to take advantage of that. But it's all good. Just got to wait a little bit longer. Okay, so 46 uh, balanced offense now. And, um, again, 50 isn't really that necessary. I mean, we could, but it's just plus two awareness and plus two stamina. Let's see if we have gold backups at these positions. 
Um, okay, how is this left tackle already in a position when he's a... Uh, what? You don't, you're not even a left tackle. I mean, you're not even a left guard. Why is he there? Okay, so we need a few more. We'll put him here. We'll put a balanced offense on him. I mean, we're so close. Might as well. I mean, not that it's not important. Plus, two awareness should help with, you know, the offensive line and stuff like that. But getting 45 is more important than getting 50. <clears throat> okay, so let's see if we have a left guard here. In our binder, we do not. Actually, I don't have any more backup linemen. I just have an extra left tackle. I would have to go and buy some. And we need three more. So I need guard, center, guard. Okay. Kick returner, power returner, slot receiver. Because that was where Stefan Diggs was. So we definitely don't want to tire out Diggs. This would have been really good for Barkley. Honestly, Saquon Barkley would have been a pretty good um, special teams guy for us. But, okay. So I'm going ahead and we're going to put A.J. Brown here. It was a 93 overall. Don't really want Diggs out there taking a hard hit and, you know, first play being orange, being, you know, a little tired. Okay, so we need, again, we need ourselves a left guard, center, right guard. So guard, center, guard, which they just have to be GOAT, just so I can just put one balanced on them. So no need to go out my way and get, like, times two. No need to spend 25 k when I can probably do this for less than 3 k total. Okay, so we need ourselves a left guard. All right, I see the Chiefs. Looks like they have the cheapest one, but let's go gold just to make sure. Okay, let's filter. Just to see if there's a cheaper one up there for a longer amount of time. There's not. Okay. Those of you who don't know when you filter, if someone had a card up there for 100 coins and they put it for 24 hours, whenever you don't filter, it wasn't going to show. This right here goes by, you know, time. So if someone has a card up for, you know, 12 hours, probably not going to show up here. But when you filter then, you know, you're going to weed out all of the other stuff and you'll be able to specifically see that cheaper card if they have one available, that is. All right, center. So the cheapest one is a giant. So we'll just see if there's a cheaper one. If there's not. Oh, that right there is a nice little drop-off from 3,300. <laughs> Let's take that. And then we need ourselves a right guard. And all three of these guys with uh, balanced offense gets us 50 out of 50. Okay, so the cheapest one is almost a thousand coins. You kidding me? For the Seahawks, nine fifty. What wasn't that? He must be a free agent then, or he must just have a Seahawks uniform and I didn't pay attention. Okay, he's a bear. It's like what? Where do you go? What do you mean they don't have any? I just seen one. Okay, nine fifty. So still under three thousand coins total to go ahead and get ourselves fifty out of fifty um, balanced offense. All right, so let's go ahead and let's slap balanced offense on my man Wiley here. Okay, equip. And we have ourselves a, another Spency, Spencer Puller. Pulley, that's actually a glitchy, glitchy football name, Pulley, huh? For uh, an offensive lineman? Pretty glitchy, Mr. Pulley. All right, now we have one more balanced offense to equip, and then we are all done. Jermaine Ifedi. It's definitely a nice, unique name to spell, Jermaine. Thought it was going to be like German or Herman or something like that, but it definitely looks like Jermaine. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing it. It looks like it's Jermaine. All right, let's add these guys, and then we have ourselves 160K remaining. So that right there could either go into, like, our offensive line now, again, little by little, how I've been chipping away and getting ourselves um, 
offensive lineman, or we can save up for Waller, and I think that's the move. I feel like we should save up, go on ahead and, you know, try to uh, get Waller um, because right now our offensive line is, you know, pretty good, pretty good. It's not obviously the greatest, but it's okay. You know, I feel like it'll get the job done while we go on ahead and grind out coins to save up for Waller. Once we get Waller, my tight end situation is done, and then we can go on ahead and work on our O-line. But for now, you know, we have ourselves an offensive lineman. Oh, Stephen Diggs actually goes up to a 98 overall with a 50 out of 50 balanced O. So that right there gives us our second 98 overall. On the squad. Our second 98 overall. That's pretty glitchy if you ask me. Pretty glitchy. So now we need to figure out what our abilities are going to be. So um, let's go ahead and let's remove identifier. <coughs> as much as I love you. It's kind of like a, ah, I got one AP. I'm really not sure what to do. Because nine times out of ten most people use her. The, the linebacker. It is definitely good, though, to catch them off guard when people don't know how to how to adjust. You know, like, if you want to deep half your corner, you're on the right side, you know, to be Y, Y, B, and then, you know, right thumbstick, click to the left. Some people physically will move to that person to put them on whatever adjustment they want. Or if they want to spy the D-tackle, they don't know how to how to adjust, you know, and uh, do that. So they'll go on ahead and physically move there. Or if they're just trying to bounce around, when you see them on someone, you know they don't want to use her. When you know they use her, the middle linebacker, that's where identifier is good. And I'll catch them just moving around. Okay, he's on the safety. You know he doesn't want to use it. The safety, then you hike it. Or you hike it when he's stuck on the D-line and stuff like that. But, um, okay, so that leaves us with three AP left. And we need at least four minimum for us to go on ahead and get... Um, and you know, it's crazy that edge protector, like never light it up for me. Like I watch other edge protectors and they'll actually like light up. I'll see them lighting up and the few games I've had it. And when I went to house rules and I played all those games and I had edge protector, like I never seen the light up. Now I wasn't getting shedded or sacked. It's just nice to see, you know, like you just want your abilities to light up, to reassure you that they're working. Okay. So now this right here would give us 11. So that's not enough. For me to go on ahead and get that and route tech. And I'm thinking like probably don't really need route tech. It's nice to have, but probably don't really need it. Because I'm thinking in order for me to get route tech, I would have to get rid of escape artists. Now getting rid of escape is not the biggest thing in the world for me because I'm still like trying to get used to it and whatnot. Still trying to work on it. Sometimes I even forget that I have it. Uh, but for now, we're going to try it with Escape Artists. If I feel like I need Route Tech, if there are certain games where it's like, okay, if I had Route Tech, we would have been in a far better situation, you know, um, then we'll address it. Like, if something is bothering me at the end of a game, then we want to address it. Like, there were times where Saquon Barkley, like I've stated, wide open, hole up the middle, I'll take off and... I'll get caught from behind, and it's a 25-yard run, even though it should have been a touchdown if I had, you know, the proper speed. Or when I address my tight end situation, it's like, okay, I need an upgrade here at tight end. Robert Woods doesn't have the route running. I can't go on ahead and put tight end apprentice on him and know that I can put him on a crosser, and he has very great medium route running to get open. If I had that, oh, it would have been so much better. And, you know, we address that. So, you know, I'm playing games, and guys are running zones, and it's like, if I had Playmaker, I would definitely be able to, you know, move the ball a little bit better than, you know, I am now. So, you know, we address that as well. So, um, if we get to a situation where we are in trouble due to us not having route tech, then we'll probably get rid of Escape Artist, go route tech, and then we'll have one AP and we'll probably go Identifier since we'll have one left. But for now, Slot Apprentice and Playmaker definitely make me um, a lot more explosive on offense, I would like to think. And being able to have this Sean Alexander 
with 96 speed instead of 94, that plus two speed can definitely go a long way. And that might be the difference between... Now, I'm probably not going to be able to pull away because if I face someone with 99s and they got Rod Woodson's and they got fully maxed out Sam Mills and Charles Woodson and all these goons I'm pro or Deion Sanders, I'm probably still going to get caught. But, you know, the fact is um, Barkley might get caught and it's a 25-yard gain. Sean Alexander might get caught, but it might be a 45-yard gain. And that could be a huge difference. I'm actually hoping he's fast enough to really take off and, you know, get some big house calls for us. But plus two speed there definitely looks uh, looks like a big win for us. And on top of that, uh, I've been wanting to use this card for a while. He looked really good. Like for a power back to have that speed, that excel, and that break tackle, like he's one of the fastest running backs in the game. You know, at stock 94 speed where you power up into 95 and you can potentially get 97 with Max Sprinter or Brawler. Like he's one of the fastest running backs in the game. It's definitely a top six running back available. So, you know, we got him. It's just, you know, <laughs> we got one more speed to go if we uh, maxed out Sprinter. But, you know, we're good. We're fine here. And not only did we upgrade at the running back spot, we also, it also allowed us to power up Stefan Diggs. And now Diggs, again, is plus one speed. So he's a little faster. So now he has 96 speed. Now, he can still go up plus one speed and get up to 97, but our digs previously had 95 speed, but now he's a little faster, and um, he gets plus one everything, you know, with the power-up, which we didn't have to pay for his 92 because we used our power-up pass that we uh, got back from Barkley, and we get Playmaker on him. So those two are huge additions, absolutely huge additions. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to the gameplay a little later on today. It's your boy GS. We're going to go ahead and be signing out. Appreciate the love and support as always. I'm so excited. I'm actually about to jump into a game right now and record, and then you guys will see you later. Uh, appreciate the love and support. Until next time, peace.